All right, let's move on from there. The good people of Monroe, Louisiana. But nope, nope, nope. Are we not? Not that one. We're going to alphabetical order. Right? Uh, yeah, but I did, so alphabetical order was ULM. Um, I'm oh. I'm I'm moving to South Alabama. Okay. South Alabama Jaguars. That's not how alphabetical order works. To me. No, it's not. It's I'm sorry. completely. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> the way that I had written it down and You're whatnot. Good. And it's actually the way that it's set up at FB Schedules. You you have yeah. way more work. I have, you I put have way ULM. more work into this. You get to do whatever you want. South Alabama Jaguars, three and nine last year, two and six in the conference. Returning starters, they got five on offense. They got four on defense. Now this is where, this is where it's not good. Okay. Number one twenty five in the country yeah. in returning experience out of one hundred and thirty. Dead last in the D- conference. Number two. Um, head coach Steve Campbell, he won the D2 national title at Delta State. He won a JUCO national title at Mississippi Gulf Coast. He was the FCS Southland uh, Conference title winner at Central Arkansas. The guy obviously knows how to win. You're in Mobile. You're going to get talent. Well, this is one of those teams like, we compared to in the last video, like Georgia, Georgia State. State. That is one, Alabama, Mississippi, the, the, the deep south, yeah. the Georgia, the, the deep south has a lot of these colleges, and they all look alike. If you tell me you can't win because of talent, you're wrong. You're just – all of these schools can get dudes. You are 100% right on that. Your acceptance to the academics to get in are not stringent, are not, not strict at all. Not hard. that high. If you can recruit, you can get players. you got to figure out what to do with them. You have to be able to coach these guys. There are a ton of guys in those states that cannot get into the bigger universities. That's right. Uh, and they can play football. Yeah, and they can play. They're really good. Sophomore quarterback Cephas Johnson is sixth quarterback in six years. <laughs> that's he, tough. Uh, I mean, that's, that's there's just tough. no stability at that position. He looks the part. Uh, yeah. Six foot five, 225 pounds. They got three offensive linemen back, but the offensive line was really bad last year, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The defense was slow. If you watched this team last year, the defense was always reacting late to things. Uh, they they were using 3-4 and 4-3 schemes last year, so it looked like they just didn't know how to react. They didn't know what they were doing. This year, they're focusing on 3-4, and they recruited a bunch of speed. Now, it's all unproven, but at least they got some speed this time, right? It's uh, the one thing that drives me crazy when I look at these teams from the deep south like this. You should be athletic. You yeah. should. These other teams should not be a lot faster than you. No, that, that that's well, the one I think, thing. I think a lot like of this was like reaction, decision time. making. Yeah, I think I think they were very hesitant. They on, were going back and forth on here. scheming, and and so seven years in FBS, all of them losing seasons. Yep, the team is big, long, and athletic. But man, the schedule is insane. Like they they went three and nine last year, and we don't really trust this coaching staff, right? Like they haven't given us a reason to put them up there with, you know, some of these other guys. I don't trust them in this spot yet. Like obviously, Steve Campbell has a pretty good resume. Well, yeah, you know, it, national championship in D two, national championship in JUCO, uh, Southland Conference champion in FCS. You know, like all of that stuff matters, but. At some point now, we got to translate it here or not. Yeah, and it's he. This is this is what year two. Yeah. Uh, Joey Jones did a pretty good job here, but he was never able to quite get over the hump. Like he he had some good upsets, you know. Like at, oh he, no, yeah, I remember South South Alabama was was a team you didn't want to play if you're one of the big boys right. all the time. But but they could never maintain that stability. And yeah, it's it's only been seven years in FBS. And and this was a pretty new program, you know. I mean, it's like it's very recently just been built up. But you would assume because of all the talent and everything that they should be able to uh, make something out of this. But man, this schedule is brutal. And I, I'll go on to tell you, I've got them one eleven. Whoo, okay. I, I've, I've got them zero and eight in conference. So this is where like, Georgia Southern. Remember, remember uh, uh, Georgia State. I had them one eleven the last one. I've got South Alabama three and nine again. I've got to get a couple of wins. 
Because I just think they've got athletes. I mean, they they got athletes, they're, but like they're I just, big and they're strong and they're fast, and that's what you need to be to play football. I think I think the schedule sets up very poorly for them. Look, they play at Nebraska to start, so oh, obviously yeah. uh, you know Scott Frost and that bunch. That uh, they win against Jackson State, but then you got Memphis at home. No, I don't think they win no. that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're playing at UAB. No, I think they lose that. No. I, they play at Louisiana Monroe right after that. I don't think that you can get that done because you're still like working with brand new guys, and Louisiana Monroe is one of the most experienced. Um, I mean, they're they're the number. Before we get to them, ULM is number three in the country in experience, number two in the conference, which is hilarious. Um, you know, but <laughs> the, the problem is you've got them early. You still got them in September, correct? So after that, you play Georgia Southern at home. Like your toughest games are at home, and your Games that are kind of you whatever could win. your your coin flip games are all on the road. So after Georgia Southern at home, you got to buy. Week. Well, they don't have a whole lot of coin flip games. Well, they, well that's that's the <laughs> problem, a lot right? Of these teams are going like at Louisiana them. Monroe might have been a coin flip game, but okay, I got. But you. it's but it's on the road and it's early against an experienced team, and you don't have a bunch of experience. So right. if that was in November. It might be a different first, story. First weekend in November, we're having a different conversation. Then you got a bye week before you play at Troy on a Wednesday night. I just think you're not winning that game. Appalachian State yeah. comes to you the next week. Then I win. Then you got a bye week. Then you play at Texas State, which is a coin flip game. But Texas State is the number one most experienced team in the conference. We'll get to the, them in a minute. And, and Jake Spavital, and and I don't think Texas State is all that good, but they've got talent too. That's right. That's right. They so, look a lot like all these other teams. So if you got Texas Dudes State, are big, with, strong, and fast, exactly, and you got to play them on the road. And then you play Louisiana at home, and then you play at Georgia State late in the season when they're going to be hungry for a win. Both of you will be, but like well, yeah, you got to go on the road. Every, all of these teams are going to be hurting to find a W. Somewhere. Exactly, and then Arkansas State comes to your place to close out on, we just think on Black better, Friday. We just think they're a better team. So that's that's why I've got them one eleven because I cannot find the wins. Yeah, like all of the the toss up games. I got them. I got them three and nine just because I think they can they, find some wins. They're going to be they're going to be hungry to get a win. And I, for some reason whatsoever, I, I've, I've got them over Texas State. I've got them over Georgia State. I can't give you a lot of logic or reasoning or, or whatever. I, I, I don't know. I understand it. I mean, those I are, just those think are they've got. Games. I think they've got athletes. Yeah, they. Oh, they absolutely do. And I just work under the impression that they've got more athletes than those other guys, even That's, though the teams are constructed pretty close to the same. That they've got more athletes. I I can understand it. I can understand it. 